one of the pieces of should you say evidence that we find that links the practices of the Asian comedians to the modern day Africans as well as the diasporans is the way nature becomes another conception for creator or the ultimate creator. And what's interesting is when you look at nature, A, not only does it provide us with all our needs, whether it's medical needs or sustenance needs, you find three important ideas with nature that you can see how it's been drawn into what we call religion. The first being omnipotent, meaning all powerful. Now, I can only just pick an example of, let's say, the Japanese um, earthquake that they had. And Japan is meant to be the most technologically advanced country in the world. But nature could show us that it was more powerful than anything that man could come up with. Yes, so we have that destructive ability to nature to show its power. Then there's the next idea which is omniscient, which means all-knowing. Now when you look at the way the seasons change, when you look at the way the planets align themselves, you know there's an inherent intelligence behind nature. It's not just um, yeah, green grass, so to speak. Yes, so we find that idea also behind nature. So there's the omnipotent, omniscient and then the omnipresent now where would you go across the globe where you will not find evidence of nature even in in the desert there's still ecological systems that are still thriving so what you you find within african spirituality is that nature becomes a very important archetype for the way africans conceptualize this idea that we now call god because it's all encompassing it's everywhere and it's in the African spirituality is also within you the individual it's what they call your life force and um, popularly 